discuss something about uh, cryptos. Uh, uh, the cryptos are more popular right now, and uh, especially NFT tokens are more uh, popular in terms of investment. And uh, the experts uh, say saying that uh, NFT tokens are the next generation investment avenues. So that the cryptos uh, are very popular among the youngsters, uh, especially Indians. Uh, so uh, uh, we can have a discussion of crypto market. So this uh, slide uh, talks about uh, the major crypto reviews. Actually, Apple CEO uh, Tim Cook suggested that uh, he uh, think about and he, uh, it, he suggested that uh, it is very reasonable to own a uh, crypto uh, as a part of a diversified portfolio. And also he reveals he owns crypto uh, on a, uh, uh, a day the Bitcoin hits a historic $68,000 high. So uh, the Tim Cook uh, suggested to include uh, cryptos uh, in the uh, portfolio uh, of investment. So as a part of portfolio diversification, we can include cryptos uh, as an investment. Uh, and uh, there are other, this, uh, the Gita Gobina, the IMF chief economist, uh, she suggested that uh, cryptocurrencies is a challenge for emerging market. And there is a regulation in that India is, China already banned crypto in 2017, but the India is struggling to regulate crypto. Many people are not into the crypto market because there is a lack of regulations. So whenever uh, there is a regulation, I think uh, the people will be started investing cryptos. So and also the Nobel Prize winner Paul Krugman uh, opinion that the crypto is an evil of the 21st century. The Paul Krugman is criticizing crypto market. He is not into the crypto investment. And uh, the Warren Buffett is not into the crypto investment so far. The Warren Buffett uh, is not at included. Warren Buffett is one of the biggest investors in the world. He is not included crypto in his portfolio. So out of the 6,000 old cryptocurrencies currently in existence, only few are likely to survive, uh, according to the former RBI governor, uh, Raghuram Rajan. Raghuram Rajan criticizes number of cryptos, more than 6,000 cryptos in the world. Why? What is the purpose of these more, the, more than 6,000 cryptocurrencies? And uh, uh, the, the fact is that anybody can uh, make a crypto through data mining. So. Uh, he said that only uh, a few currencies will be able to survive in the future. So what what are the few currencies? Okay, so uh, this uh, slide talks about the positive and negative reactions of uh, reactions on cryptos and crypto market. And Apple CEO Tim Cook positively uh, reacted. Uh, uh, on the crypto market and the crypto investment while on the others uh, like Paul Krugman, Warren Buffett uh, talks negatively uh, but Gita Gobinath uh, touched on the regulatory part so we need a regulation and essentiality of the regulation by uh, Gita Gobinath okay and uh, the Raghuram Rajan uh, is uh, his stand uh, that uh, he criticized the number of cryptos actually we have uh, more than 6000 cryptos and it include uh, this uh, uh, what is the purpose of these 6000 cryptos so now we can check about the uh, meaning of cryptocurrency a cryptocurrency is a digital or virtual currency that is secured by a cryptography using blockchain technology which makes it nearly impossible to counterfeit or duplicate so the cryptocurrency is using the blockchain technology and the, the major uh, chunk or the major important significant part of cryptocurrencies people cannot duplicate or the people cannot counterfeit uh, currencies cryptocurrencies uh, unlike the the normal uh, fiat currencies fiat currencies the counterfeiting and duplication is possible that is a major criticism faced by the fiat currencies like Indian rupee US dollar euro pound sterling etc so uh, the cryptocurrency is uh, you know cryptocurrency is a digital currency and the, the, the technique used is blockchain so that they cannot uh, count off fee to duplicate currencies uh, uh, and the major feature of cryptocurrencies is that it's generally not issued by any central authority so we know that the the, the, the currency of uh, you know uh, Indian rupees uh, uh, issued by RBI US dollar issued by the Federal Reserve. So these are issued by a central authority. 
and there is a surveillance and regulation uh, is strict in terms of issuing of currencies but in cryptos you know anybody can make uh, uh, cryptocurrency through data mining so that's a major uh, maybe a criticism anybody can make cryptocurrency through data mining so this all about the the concept of uh, cryptocurrency so let's talk about some history of the crypto market and cryptocurrencies uh, it was introduced the first cryptocurrency that is bitcoin it was introduced in 2008 uh, by the uh, pseudonymous coder uh, satoshi nakamoto and uh, the, the name is not original uh, the bitcoin treated the bitcoin is treated as the alpha currency right now because it is a lead cryptocurrency it was the first cryptocurrency and of course the the top uh, priced cryptocurrency in the world right now crypto market in the crypto market and this price of uh, it has been skyrocketing to unprecedented heights uh, and sometimes uh, it it was crash landed okay the the problem the problem of crypto market is you know uh, highly volatile and you know that uh, there is a positive correlation between the volatility and uh, return if the market is more volatile the investors will uh, are getting uh, more returns so satoshi nakamoto uh, is a is the anonymous name used by creators of the bitcoin cryptocurrency okay its name is not real and some anonymous name was given by the creators so uh, it is like a uh, hidden uh, fact that these creators uh, you know they uh, they feel that the original person who created or invented the cryptocurrency should not be published okay so that they have given a uh, given an anonymous name so although the name of uh, satoshi nakamoto is often synonymous with the bitcoin the actual person that the name the present has never been found okay uh, rather than his paper was published and this paper is the uh, you know uh, reason or evidence uh, for the invention of this cryptocurrency uh, and uh, this uh, 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 this anonymous uh, uh, name of uh, the creator leading many people to believe that it is a pseudo name for a person with a different identity or a group of people so uh, the people feel that there's a person the, the person who invented the bitcoin is there but uh, nobody knows uh, who is the real person who who, who was behind uh, uh, for this invention of this this cryptocurrency or digital currency so satoshi nakamoto may not be a real person uh, the name might be a pseudo name for the creator or creators of bitcoin who wish to remain anonymous so that i said this name might be a pseudo name for the creator or creators of bitcoin and they wish to remain uh, it as anonymous uh, this slide speaks about the factors for the growth of cryptos and crypto market Uh, there are some factors uh, influence for the immediate uh, growth which was happened in the crypto market the first one is the failure of fiat currency in countries like uh, zimbabwe and uh, lebanon has added to the popularity of the crypto movement so you all familiar you all uh, experienced that the, the failure of the uh, domestic currencies of zimbabwe and lebanon due to some the, the limitations of the government uh, Uh, of those countries and uh, the as valueless of these fiat currencies of those countries has led the people uh, in favor of the digital currencies and uh, these countries people believing that these digital currencies are uh, will be popular and digital currencies will be the future of the uh, next generation uh, currencies and another reason is demonetization so indians all experience the demonetization which was happened and uh, we don't know the next when the next demonetization will be happen so whenever the, there is a demonetization the government withdraw the some of the currencies and government introduce new currencies that may be negatively influence the people who are holding the fiat currencies so the demonetization may be one of the reasons for the growth of uh, cryptos and crypto market uh, so indians uh, if 
for example india so next is high cost associated with the, the use and the storing of uh, cryptocurrencies you know uh, not cryptocurrencies high cost associated with the use and medium of exchange and store of uh, these fiat currencies so we know that the fiat currencies are physical currencies we have to store it we have to take care of it we have to uh, uh, safety uh, needed to store it so we have to have a proper mechanism to store of uh, these physical currencies so the store and exchange you know uh, have uh, some cost associated associated with this uh, fiat currencies so that may be another reason for the growth of uh, cryptos cryptos are uh, digital currencies we don't uh, require a cost or uh, uh, we don't require any further procedures for the cost and medium of uh, uh, digital currencies so the high cost associated with the use and uh, store value of fiat currencies may lead for the growth of cryptos and crypto market and next is high returns compared to stock market and other investment avenues that's that may be a predominant uh, major reasons uh, reason uh, for the growth of cryptocurrencies so there are uh, investment avenues we can invest gold we can invest mutual funds we can invest uh, real estate we can invest uh, in currencies we can invest in stock market we can invest in bond market we can invest in fixed deposit etc but of course before the cryptos uh, before the evolution of cryptos of course the stock market is the market giving more returns but after the emergence of crypto market uh, uh, the crypto market providing more returns than the stock market and the people started investing uh, exiting from the uh, leaving from the stock market and started investing in the crypto market and there is a spillover effect of uh, there are literature which speaks about the spillover effect of uh, stock market and crypto market. So the people leave from the stock market and invest in crypto market. And sometimes the people leave from the crypto market and invest in stock market. The both market are, has some connections and linkages. And the next is speculation. Of course, the speculation is more in crypto market. The problem is crypto market is not regulated, so the speculation uh, speculation is more, and that is a uh, one of the criticism of the crypto market. High volatility, uh, high volatility leads for the high speculation, uh, but the market is the crypto market is not regulated. So the people should be careful. You know, in the high speculation market uh, there is a problem associated with uh, losing of money also. And there, is, uh, there, are, there were discussion that uh, the, the Bitcoin may be the alternative to the fiat currency. Uh, so some people believe that the Bitcoin uh, will be the stronger currency as compared to US dollar in future. So uh, that may be one of the reasons for the growth of cryptos. So the, the believing, there is a belief of the people uh, always lead for the growth of crypto market. And some of the business permitted to transact through crypto such as Bitcoin and Ethereum like uh, the tesla or some companies permitted uh, the the people can purchase their commodities uh, by exchanging this bitcoin and ethereum so that may be another reason so the cryptos are recognized uh, as a medium as a medium like any other fiat currencies in the world so that may be another reason so one of the attractions of the bitcoin in the relative anonymity compared with the other payment system is another one that is anonymity of the crypto transactions so crypto transactions you know uh, uh, there is an anonymous there is a privacy uh, to the people for dealing with the transactions uh, rather than this uh, uh, the fiat currencies uh, so that currency is being public public it's open to public the transaction is open to public open to verification but sometimes the cryptocurrencies you know it's uh, the people can transact uh, through a private manner so that may be another criticism of the cryptocurrencies because the government and regulators uh, speak about uh, they are they are they are uh, uh, criticizing cryptos because of this feature of cryptos and of course the El Salvador uh, has become the first country in the world to accept Bitcoin as legal tender. So there are countries you know they were accepted, they were accepted uh, crypto uh, as the main legal tender or national currencies. So El Salvador has the first country in the world to accept Bitcoin as a legal tender. That, that, that may be another reason. Some other country may be come up and they will accept uh, cryptos as the uh, legal tender. Okay, thank you.